Okay, I think it seems like everyone is back. So then I think we can start with the first group. Um, René, Fanny and Sonia will present the ideas. Just remember that you, um, for all of them who don't speak now, please um, mute your microphone, um, very important um, for the group. Um, I will let you know after about eight minutes um, if I have the feeling that you're not coming to an end soon, just to remind you that um, the time is running out, but don't stress too much. So I will give you just a little note. And um, yeah, then I'd say um, good luck for your presentation. And I'm really interested to see and to watch what you prepare today. You can use the um, sharing mode if you want to share a presentation um, or if you want to do it in another way. It's absolutely fine. So I give you the word, uh, Sonia and Reni, and have fun. Yep, hello. <laughs> Um, we um, prepared a little presentation video for you, so I just um, share my screen. Ah, okay, I cannot share it, uh, Marie. Um, Either, um, you have to enable this. Um, okay, I think it's Lydia's task. <laughs> to oh, <yeah>. <laughs> Ah, okay, no, no, I can. Thanks. Can you see my screen? Yeah. 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 Um, I'm not sure which one <laughs> because I have two. Um, do you see if I move this thing here? Yeah. Okay, all right, then it's this one. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, this is our presentation and we hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to our presentation of our toolbox prototype. Let's start right away with an overview of the end product so you know what we are talking about. We designed a slipcase and named the project Let's Talk About Waste. On the following pictures you can see the board game plus instructions brochures, there are three for teachers and three for students, and overview poster. The slipcase contains also our DIY model, which I explain later, and stickers. In our work process, we defined five guidelines and wanted our product to be repairable, reproducible with instructions, open source. That means that we want to to upload all PDF files so that teachers and students have access to all needed material. And our idea behind this is that they can handle it independently and get a feeling of self-efficacy and self-confidence. And we want our product to be recyclable and open. Okay. Hey. On the worksheets, illustrations should be printable in black and white. PIM templates should be designed for DNA free, and book binding has to have an easy level of craftsmanship. I will now explain our design concept in greater detail. First of all, we wanted to bring the theme joy working with our toolbox, starting with our color concept. With the age of our target group in mind, we chose a good mix of bright and pastel colors. These mix of more popping and soft colors ensure there's a great contrast between them, which is necessary for a decent black and white copy. Another reason why we chose a large color palette was that it would allow us to combine the colors in an outward way. Talking about our illustration style, we decided to not illustrate people because we wanted to avoid reproducing ethnic or gender stereotypes. We also decided that our illustration must work with only outlines because we wanted to enable students to color in the illustration while working with the exercises. Since we didn't want to portray any human figures, we thought that our illustration content would be the garbage itself, representing the overall topic of the toolbox. So we didn't want the illustration to look boring or too clean. 
So we use the comic side to play our characters. It was a great way to give him a kind of personality and human touch. It was important to us that the very moral and environmental topics are communicated in a new, less heavy way in order to give a better access to young people. This is why we combined the illustration of the slogan to make them look like fun memes. So we developed characters like the straw, the plastic bag or the plastic bottle, which are already known to represent the problem, but also figures like the sunscreen or the bubble gum, which might surprise people to contain plastic. As well, we created illustrations which were sending each tool from the box. We placed them on the booklet cover so students and teachers could identify them straight away. But why on earth do this illustration look like stickers? A question I can answer. The use of the stickers should lead to an increased identification with the characters and the subject matter, which in return can lead to an increased sense of responsibility and have a positive effect on a more environmental conscious behavior. At the same time, the message is carried to the outside world, which can also attract the interest of others and lead to a raised awareness of the problem. All the illustrations we just saw, we also printed as stickers going with the box. But no worries, we printed them environmentally friendly. On these pictures, you can see the board game cards carrying the same illustration style. Each illustration on the card represents a sustainability goal, for example, here, climate action or life on land. In general, I can say that we wanted to create a fun and dynamic style, far away from a common dull sustainable look, suitable for young people. Our next point is typeface and layout. So we decided to go with Termina for headlines because of its dynamic and bold look, and Noto Sans for continuous text because it's known for its good readability and because it's available in a lot of languages. Here you can see the inner life of one of the students' brochures. By the way, we put the models which were kinetically fitting together into one brochure each. We created a clean layout and have paid attention to leaving enough space for the students to write and use direct margin for easier entering of the text. Also, we wanted to spice up the worksheets by adding illustrations here and there so I can be secured between all the assignments. If you look on the outer margin, you can see an icon plus vertical text, which informs you about the module you're working on and if it's a student's or teacher's brochure. This double page is part of our own, own module called Do It Yourself. It contains con instructions how to build this book base and board game on your own and how to print it correctly and how to bind the material together. Here we have a real quick insight into the online version. Um, as you can see, we used outline illustrations here so the students can color them and just have a little fun with it. Um, besides, coloring increases concentration and relaxation when listening. Last but not least, our choice of materials. We chose paper because paper and cardboard have a comparatively low ecological impact. Students from both regions can work on it with conventional craft materials. The entire slipcase with its contents is recyclable in both regions. And what is particularly interesting about our choice of material is that the extract paper from GF Smith is an innovative recycled paper made from old takeaway tubs. So what remains to be explained are two reasons why we decided to go for this workbook structure. Firstly, because the games were mostly very text heavy and conceptualized as worksheets. So it made the most sense to keep it that way in the school context. And secondly, because compared to more experimental packaging versions, a slipcase and workbook can be implemented by students um, in their own work. And that was our presentation. We hope you enjoyed it and thank you for your attention. Yep. <laughs> that was it. Thanks. Um, if you have any questions, if anything was unclear, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs>
First of all, thank you very much for this uh, presentation and for the nice video. This is very smart to prepare, actually. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much. Um, if there is a question from the audience, uh, please uh, raise your hand by the rise, raising hand uh, <laughs> function, and then I can uh, give you the word to ask your question, if there is one. Um, now it's your chance. <laughs> Okay, seems like all the questions were already answered with your great presentations. Uh, thank you, Sonia and René. <laughs> um, then I think we can go to the second group, uh, which is Hanna, Johanna and Anna. I see Johanna is here and also Anna. <laughs> yeah, so I would like to start um, the screen. Okay, now full screen. Can everyone um, see it? No, it's not full, full bit. Then. And now? Mm -mm. If you need to stop the um, screen sharing and reshare it, then. Oh, okay. It has always the same thing. I, I was sure that it would be like this. That's, that's what I meant when I was talking about technical issues. Yeah, yeah. This is absolutely no problem. So now, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's start. Um, okay. Before we start, um, we want to show you our designer group. Um, we prepared some pictures of us because um, I think you can go one further. Yeah, um, because you can see we are just two girls now, but actually we're three. Hannah isn't, po it's not possible for Hannah to join us today, but um, we can do this <laughs> together, um, you know, uh, but it was important for us to, for you to see us all. I can't share my photo of myself because my internet connection isn't that good. So now you can see everybody and uh, see the face behind um, our design. And uh, now we want to start with our buzzwords. So these are the words that are really important for us during the design process and the building process. And uh, you can see the most important word for us was durable. We wanted to create a really durable um, box that can handle a lot of things. Um, and another word that was really important to us was a hand, hands-on character. You will see later on what we mean by that. Um, and also what, is, what was really important for us was um, a flexible and individual box. And you will see later on also what we mean by that. But that was, these are the most important words. Yeah, and now we can go to our packaging. So our box. <laughs> and uh, now you can see probably what I mean with very durable. We decided to um, make our education toolbox mostly made of, out of wood. The only thing that's not made out of wood um, are the hinges and the screws. But other than that, everything is made out of wood. And that was really important to us because we wanted to create something that lasts a very long time, that can be handled quite roughly without having to worry about it getting, um, getting damaged or anything. And um, another reason for us to choose wood was the fact that these two countries have very different climates. So Sri Lanka is very humid, more humid than uh, Germany. And that's why we were, were a little bit scared that using only cardboard and paper um, was a fact that can be um, damaged quite easily or just absorb a lot of moisture. Um, yeah, and another thing that you can probably see by the photo is that it's easy to carry. It has a big handle you can just grab and go. And that was really important to us and also that the box itself has a lot of storage. So you can just put copies and crafting materials in the box itself without having to carry everything by themselves or by itself. Um, so the teacher can just put everything in that they need on that day or in doing the project and just, um, like I said, grab and go. And uh, for the box inside, we uh, created a two sides design. So on one side, we have all the manuals, the paper, the descriptions. And on the other side, we have all the materials that 
belong to the tools like game cards and so on. So you have a little bit of structure in doing as a, inside the box. Um, and you can see one side is more hands-on and the other one is more paper and ready. Here you can see our corporate design. It consists out of these bottle shapes and characters that are also made of shapes of different plastic waste. We wanted to put waste in a new context and that the students can um, recognize the shapes when they are just in the environment and see, for example, bottle shapes or anything else. So on the right, there are our bottle shapes and our colors. This is the color palette on the left. And we wanted to have a realistic touch. So the connection to the waste is there. And when the students see, it doesn't matter where they are in Berlin, in Calpitia or anywhere else, like on the whole planet, there are these kinds of waste, plastic bottles in the park, at the beach, wherever they are. And they can connect it to the contents of the box, to the problems and what they learned about it and can make this connection. So we created um, different patterns out of the shapes and these are our characters. So we have seven um, little characters which guide you through the whole education box and through the tools. There are also some little details like, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the lashes of this takeaway box is the Berlin bear. It's the heraldic animal. So it's connected to Berlin. Um, here's a whale that can be familiar to um, students of Kalpitia. So um, you have different plastic shapes, um, new shapes, uh, familiar shapes, yeah, our characters. Our tools are collected in a folder. Um, we use an individual layout. So it's not only a boring folder, it's really um, exciting and surprisingly in different formats and different layouts. And um, it's also, there is a handbook for a teacher. So that is um, scribes the tools and gives certain factors like the duration of time, or if the teacher has to go outside somewhere else, like to the beach or anywhere else, or um, and how, yeah, how many, how much time it takes to do the tool. Here's an inside of the handbook. It's minimalistic and clearly. This is our game app tool. You know, or I don't know if all of you know the game app, but it's a game app where you're just a little turtle, have to swim through the ocean. And there's this QR code to go to the app. Um, and the design is here more futuristic. You, you see out of the bottle shapes, but more abstract because it's a digital app. And we thought the rectangle shapes um, are suitable for this tool. Here are our plastic experiments, the worksheets um, are also really um, functional and um, able to copy it wherever you are with every printer in black and white um, and still really clearly and good to work with for the students. Um, also our characters are there. And this is our photo project um, where you can see the bottle shapes and the flip, uh, the character, the flip flop again. So yeah. Um, it's fun to read the descriptions and um, every tool is individual and um, exciting to, to read. Yeah, and next our uh, the Kahoot quiz. The Kahoot quiz is actually a digital app like the um, game app that um, Johanna showed you earlier and recreated, of course, the digital form. Um, so we created a little booklet where you can find the description and the QR code to get to the digital uh, version of the Kahoot quiz. But um, like we said earlier, we wanted to create a box that's really hands on and doesn't exclude anyone. And um, because we know in Kapitia, it doesn't really, not, not everybody has a smartphone and not every school allows smartphones. That's why we chose a real card game. So we created a real card game and we put everything every little element that's actually in the box in a little fabric bag like you see here and everything is color coordinated and um, named with the same um, digital so you can really connect everything nicely together. The next one is uh, the game, uh, the board game with the Go-Go's. It's based on the original um, Go-Go 
Go Goals uh, game. And we matched the design to our corporate design um, and put another little fabric bag into the box to contain all the game cards. Um, we also included little characters to play with and um, the instructions to build them themselves because we don't really want to put actual wooden figures into the box because we were scared kids could lose them or just put them in their bags. We know how kids sometimes are. So we wanted to create something that they can easily remake. We chose a black and white um, copy for that so everybody can copy it. And we wanted to encourage... I just want to mention that you have one minute left. So yeah, just... we, are all, we are almost done. Sorry, okay. <laughs> no worries. Um, yeah, so we wanted to encourage the, the kids to use something that they already have. Um, also, we used a lot of foldings. And um, so, like you can see, a poster for the Go Goals is included into the manual. And everything in the box can be taken out. That was really important to us. All tools can be taken out individually. That's why we can ensure that groups of little, so little groups can work together because some tools like it's like the board game can't be played in a 20 people group. And that's why we wanted to choose a design or a layout that ensures the groups to work on themselves in little groups. And the last, um, tool is our own tool. We, like you said, like, like you saw, um, chose a little bit of fabric, fabric bags to use throughout our box. And we wanted to encourage the students to try this themselves and uh, include a little bit more of fabric waste into this project and not only plastic. Here's our overview. You can see everything matches nicely together and works really well, even though everything is individually designed. And at least, and last of all, we have uh, our, our custom, our cost um, overview. So you can see it's still in the budget, even though it is a really durable box. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Johanna and Anna, for your presentation and uh, guiding us uh, through your box uh, step by step uh, with your beautiful photos. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Okay, I also want to clap, so <laughs> great, thank you. So um, the third and next group now um, is uh, Yuna, Deep and Yasmin. I think I've seen Yuna and I've seen, yeah, I've seen Yuna. <laughs> so um, I give you the word and also again, um, if I have the feeling that you need to come to an end soon, then I just uh, come in with a little disturbing message and then good luck and have fun with your presentation, Juna. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so normally we are also um, three, but unfortunately, um, Yasmin cannot join us today. So um, Dib and I doing it. Um, so I share my screen. Oh, sorry, Dip, I haven't seen you on the screen, but you're there. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, you see the full screen? Nope. Nope. All right. We do it again. Now? Yeah, okay, thank you. All right. Yeah. Hello and welcome to our small compact presentation or introduction of our box. Um, as with uh, yeah, any project we started um, with a completely free uh, ID search and brainstorming. We know from the beginning that we wanted to work with already existing materials. So um, the first ID was it to recycle a pizza box and use it as our main box. Uh, in course of time, however, we said goodbye to this ID and worked with uh, ex existing materials and left uh, over cardboard because it was easier. Um, from the illustration style was the ID of almost overly childlike simple illustrations. We wanted to work on the one hand with the faces and shapes 
and on the other hand with childlike uh, almost unspectacular illustrations um from the color scheme our first idea was it to work with muted colors other colors of the sea um we also briefly considered working with the colors of the national flags from both countries um but it was um yeah all too unex unex uh, exciting and not hip enough for us and long story short we decided to two colors in the end um with our concept two countries one destination uh we wanted we wanted to represent and celebrate the coming together the two countries um also the with you uh reuse of material materials was always a big uh, feature a feature of our box and at the same time it was also um, our goal to make a handmade box and our funds um, resemble the contrast between the, the between the two countries uh, what Jona already said we have on the one hand a grotesque font the Sophia Pro and on the other hand the handwritten front that um, Jona did himself next and as Jona already said we decided in the end to make only two colors our primary colors um, on the one hand magenta and on the other hand yellow and um, we decided to pick the colors because we wanted them to stand out and be playful and bright and also we wanted them to be suitable for screen printing because you can see later on that we screen printed ourselves next um, this is the style of our illustrations um, we made kind of a mascot an underwater monster and we wanted it to be compatible for our target group and also um, be suitable for our handmade character um, because the illustrations on the right side are handmade with a marker and we scanned them and on the left side um, those are the illustrations that are inside of the tools and now you can see our final result um, as i already said we screen screen printed ourselves we did it the first time and it was um, really messy and a lot of <laughs> really time consuming but it was also a lot of fun and you can see our little mascots and um, yeah and there you can see that we also made the box ourselves off of cardboard and every component of um, the tools have their own compartment so you really know where the tools have to go into and this is the sketch we made of the box before we did it and um, in the next page you can see the final result of the box and this is how it turned out and here you can also see the compartments and the tools that we made, you can see the mascots that are on the front page of the um, tools and yeah, our two colors. And here are some other tools on the right side, you can see the thumb cinema and um, on the left side, you can see the game app. And this was our presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Great to see again your box. <laughs> and also, I want to use the clap function. Is there a question from the audience? Maybe something that you that you wanna that you wanna ask them? Then just raise your hand, and um, I can give you the chance to speak. <laughs> it also seems like you answered all the questions already in your presentation. <laughs> Okay, so even better, then we can go to the next group of Clara, Jonas and uh, Layal, and there all the three of you are here, as I can see. <laughs> yes, we're all here, and uh, we also made a video to not overdo the time frame of the 10 minutes. Um, but if it's okay, we'd like to do a little sound check first, because we have two versions, one on the computer, one on Vimeo, and... 
we'd like to try out which version is better for a second. Hello and welcome to the presentation of the Educational Toolbox by Jonas, Layal and Clara. Was it good? Sounds good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. So we'd like to start then. <laughs> All right. Hello and welcome to the presentation of the Educational Toolbox by Jonas. The sound is off. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, it just um, turned off. Hello. Sorry, I muted myself. <laughs> well, I'm not very smart. <laughs> Sorry, oh, okay, I again. <laughs> Without muting. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the presentation of the Educational Toolbox by Jonas, Layal, and Clara. As soon as we got the assignment, we were, of course, super eager to immediately start designing but we knew we had to pin down some focus points in order to establish values we could build our box on. We broke it down to six main points, comprehensibility, reproducibility, independence, equality, timelessness, and fun. The box has to be understandable for everybody, regardless the level of English. It has to be reproducible, meaning the material inside should be easily recreated by the students and also should be copied and printed without any problems. The students shouldn't be dependent from the teacher and they should have the opportunity to work independently. No one should be discriminated by the design. Therefore, we use characters with no nationality and no gender. The box should be timeless, therefore not only be trendy now, but also spark joy for the students in the future. And talking about joy, the box should be fun to look at and to work with. Once we settled on the focus points, we could finally start thinking about a corporate design. Maybe because it has not been too long that we are out of school ourselves, but this last point, the box being fun and not boring like most of the school material, really got to us. So it was necessary for us to think outside of the box, and that meant quite literally. In classes of up to 30 students, we didn't want our box to be usable by one person at a time only. Therefore, we decided to add a little extra feature and came up with the magnetic tool card system. Each tool is represented on a respective tool card. The bright illustrations in the front visualize the content of the tool. The back gives important information for the task. The cards can magnetically be hung on a placard to represent the progress or to introduce the new task that is waiting for the students to be experienced. A corporate design is a clashing duo of bright, playful and colorful design on one side and black and white, static and more informative design on the other. The front of the tool card solidly works with the bright and fun design to motivate and animate the students to playfully work. But for this design, we did not only consider the fun aspect, but kept in mind that we want the students to be able to recreate the tools themselves. So we came up with three rules to make the drawings the most easy and recreatable as possible. The drawings should consist of only geometric shapes, no organic forms, use only 90 and 45 degree lines to add further detail, and always follow a basic grid. If followed, the look of the toolbox is easily copied, even if hand-drawn. The back of the tool cards contain three important informations. The title of the tool, the icon that tells you where to find the material, either a link icon, a QR code icon, or one that tells you to find the material inside the box. And at last, a short story that explains the task of the tool. These short stories are very important for the comprehensibility of the corporate design, as they communicate the task without using words. This way, we made sure that all students, regardless of the big age gap from 12 to 16, and the level of English, are included and aren't overly dependent on the teacher. To create the short stories, we needed a character that is simple, adaptable, friendly looking, and timeless meaning the design should follow only a current trend. Also, it should be recognizable, work on its own, and be able to create a whole story. The design that we used as inspiration was, of course, the famous IKEA character. To keep the more simple and neutral appearance and make it coherent with the front design, we made the character in the most simple geometric shape, a circle with legs and eyes. This also ensured that it is easily reproducible by the students, 
as the only thing that has to be added are the arms and items that are necessary for the task. One more advantage of the character is that it works like a mascot, which can be practical for presentations on websites, animations, commercial purposes, or even merchandise. Except in the tool card backgrounds that are completely black and white, we made sure to colorize the characters only in the four chosen colors. This underlines the fact that it has no nationality and no gender, so no one feels discriminated or excluded. The colors we used are dynamic and fun, and each one works very well with all the others, both in contrast and also in harmony. They are not bound to anything known, but they are found in every set of colored pencils, making sure the students can colorize their tool cards very similar to the original box. We worked with the font Noto Sans, as it is not only available in English, but also in Tamil and Sinhala. This is very practical, again, for the reproducibility, but also to have the opportunity to translate specific elements of the tools if needed, like the poster and the creative workshop. We have divided our content into parts, the extras and the essentials. The extras include the tool cards, the magnet placard and the manuals. We talked a lot about the tool cards. Now here are some images so you can see how they look. We have decided to print with the risograph, one of the most sustainable printing methods as it is based on soy ink. There are many ways you can arrange the tool cards. There are no restrictions. The students can let their creativity do its work and have fun. But again, we didn't only think about the fun aspects here. Because we know how challenging it can be for teachers to organize a project day, we created a manual for teachers where they can find all the information that they need. A detailed description of the tasks, time evaluation, the number of students that can work on one project, contact information and more. As we want the students to be as independent as possible, we also created a manual for students containing the storyboards from the tool cards and short explanations under every part of the story for even more clarity if needed. It also includes short written introductions, the links or QR codes, the number of students that can work on it and the estimated time needed. The essentials consist of the experiment worksheets and the board game. The experiment booklet, in contrast to the manuals that have a monochrome cover to differentiate from the rest, has a cover that looks exactly like the corresponding tool cut cover. In this way, the students can find the needed material right away. The inside, like all booklets and manuals, is completely black and white. This and the format of A5 make sure that copying the material is no problem and the design still looks fresh afterwards. Of course, in order to keep it light and appealing for the students, we added various illustrations throughout the booklet. In the board game instructions, it was important to us to illustrate each step of the game in order to overcome possible language barriers. We also added the 17 sustainable development goals in the instructions, which we have redesigned with the help of our character and that can be found on the board game and on the quiz cards. To make the board game not too chaotic, but not too plain, we decided to once break our rule and mix our four colors with the black and white, but as you can see, it still looks very harmonious and fun. Here are some examples for the quiz cards that include the illustrations for the 17 sustainable development goals. We decided to put together instructions to recreate our tool cards in the last module, our module, accessible as PDFs through a QR code. We designed two prototypes of the box. The first one that we're just quickly showing was divided into two departments with various sections. We decided to give up this idea though, as it required too much material for too little stability. We then went for the second, very clean and simple design that requires almost no material, super stable and super easily reproducible. This prototype, for example, is made out of three rectangles cut out of old cardboard found at home from an old package that are then sewed together. No more material needed besides a cotton ribbon or shoelace even for the carrying handle. This box is A4 sized, therefore easily transportable and comfortable to carry, 
sustainable and stable, and of course, fun to look at. We decided to put the instructions on how to recreate our box on the inner upper side of the box, plus a short explanation of our magnetic placard system. For the booklets and the playing cards, we used 100% recycled paper. The game board and the tool cards are made from three sheets of environmental friendly grey cardboard. For the placard, we used an A2 ferrofoil and magnets for our tool cards. We also used six wooden game pieces and a wooden dice for the board game. That was our box. Thank you so much for your attention and we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for this presentation. Uh, great, nice to see. <laughs> uh, are there any questions? I see so many clapping hands, but is there also a, a hand that is rising to ask a question? <laughs> Just to make sure that we don't lose anything here? No, it seems like uh, you answered all the questions already. <laughs> thank you a lot. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I think now we can come to the fifth and last group of Anna, Jana and Sarah. I see yeah. Anna here, I see Jana yeah. and Sarah as well, I guess. So I give you the word 10 minutes again and um, enjoy your presentation and good luck. Okay, thank you. Wait a moment. Okay, can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. It's not yet full screen, but we can see it. <laughs> but is it uh, big enough or? Um, I think it's um, cut on the um, lower edge. Oh. Is it better now? Yeah. Okay. Then I would take it like this. Um, yeah. Um, wait a moment. So many windows on my screen. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, in the beginning, we had the same problem as everyone else and asked ourselves, how is it possible to place nine different sized and volume tools in one box with the following challenges? Um, the, uh, the box should be reproducible, sustainable in, in several aspects transportable and appealing for at least two different cultures. The solution would be a durable box made of sustainable materials and an eco-friendly producible production of it. Um, the design of the box should be visually appealing. There should be possibilities to easily replace or repair lost and broken things. And furthermore, an option for a second life or at least eco-friendly disposal would be great. Um, in educational institutions, there's a lot of stuff anyway, like documents, folders, various teaching materials, and so on. To reduce the chance to lose things of the box content, we decided to reduce the volume of the box. So we created a compact, reduced, and practical box system. Our box, uh, our box called The Box contains three separate modules, the book, the quiz, and the game. The idea was to combine the differences between Berlin and Kalpitya and use them as a design concept. First of all, we thought about using the industrial look from Berlin and the natural look from Kalpitya. We thought about a metal box with wooden parts, but there was a huge problem with the production of a small edition of this idea. So we were forced to come up with a new idea for the box packaging. And so the wooden packaging for the modules came to life. The packaging is a customized magazine holder made of wood. The wood we use is FSC certified and the glue is based on natural rubber. The illustrations are eco-friendly screen printed with water-based colors. Um, the packaging has following benefits. It is easy to store in a shelf or something uh, similar. The, the three modules are well packed, so they are easy to transport. If you don't intentionally tip the box over, the chances of something falling out of the box is uh, very low. So um, yeah, assuming that the content of the box is unnecessary in a few years, uh, the wooden packaging could get a second life and store something else. 
Um, yeah. But should the box un unexpectedly break, is it possible to dispose it eco-friendly? So the book, uh, here are all the informations for the different tools in one place. It is a Steen A4 format and the book is filled with 90 pages. 81 pages are informations, instructions and instructions and all of the necessary material for every single tool and nine thicker pages separate the tools haptically. All the pages um, are offset printed on recycling paper. The book is glue free and has a hidden wire O binding. So it's just made of paper and metal. Mm. Here are a few examples for book pages. Um, there are QR codes to make it easier to download the app or to get the websites, to get to the websites. Um, due to DNA4 format and the wire O binding, it is very easy to copy, for example, the worksheets of the plastic experiment tool. You can see them on the left hand side below. And um, the nine thicker pages with the large number illustrations, as you can see, for example, on the right, uh, to separate the tools haptically and visually, make it easier to navigate through the book. And there's a content side where you can um, also find the duration for each tool. Um, for the reason that the book doesn't need any glue and because it is easy to separate uh, the paper and the metal binding is also easy to dispose. So the game box contains six wooden game characters out of FSC certified wood, just like the dice. And the 85 playing cards are printed on recycling paper. And again, we reduce the chance to lose something by combining the game, uh, the game packaging and the board because the box cover is the board at the same time. We redesigned the whole game to match it with our colors and design. Um, the quiz box contains chalk for offline version of the Kahoot quiz. Um, the idea was to give an uh, option to play the quiz outside or indoors with physical movement and without the requirement of owning a cell phone. And someone just has to draw the answer shapes on the ground or on the blackboard and um, yeah, the quiz fun can begin. Um, the introduction, uh, the instructions, instructions for the offline version is placed in the book. And the chalk is made of natural plaster and colored chalk, so it's not all, it's no harm for the environment. Um, the boxes are made of old and broken secondhand board games, so here's no use of new materials for these for the base of the boxes. Um, tiny but strong magnets are closing the boxes. The covering papers for both boxes um, are offset printed on recycling paper. And another point is that the game box doesn't have any useless space. The containers for the characters and cards are as small as possible. Um, and so the game instruction is placed between them on the game box itself. So the game, uh, the game could be used without any connection to the book. Should the book get lost, no problem. The game can still be played. So. Um, should one of the game characters be lost, it can easily be replaced by something like a button, a stone or whatever, and the cards are easily to print again. Um, the boxes have the same size as the book when put next to each other, so they have a space saving design. Uh, someone once said, good design made of less sustainable materials can be more sustainable than bad design made of sustainable materials. So we decided to use colors out of the surrounding of Berlin and Kaipitia to connect the both locations within the concept and to create eye appealing, exciting illustrations. Um, the colors we use are friendly, muted, but colorful, and we use different gradations to bring more power into the illustrations. In our illustrations, we place value on diversity. Again, we combine the surrounding of Berlin and Kaipitia. We use specific animals from each country to bring another connection between these locations into our design. We use illustrations in the book to visually separate the tools and to support the informations. Very often, the, uh, the instructions are easy to understand without reading the text or just looking, um, yeah, just looking at the illustrations. So the content is also understandable for people with reading disabilities. 
So basically, we orientated ourselves on four out of the five hours of zero waste. We reuse materials like old board games to create the new game boxes. We reduce the use of material in general and the content as well. Sometimes there was doubled content, so we had to shorten it. Um, we reuse recycled paper and the box is easy to repair because everything is reproducible or replaceable. So the most important points about the box at a glance. The box has a compact, practical, space-saving and appealing design. It is easy to transport and it is reproducible. Every wood we use is FSC certified, every used paper is recycled and sometimes we use, re, reuse old materials. Our box has low use for, of natural glue and a chance to get a second life. It is easily and eco-friendly disposable and the printing processes are also eco-friendly. And last but not least, the production costs are cheap. We calculated an amount of 289 euros and that is just the half of the budget. Yeah, thank you for listening. Thank you for your presentation, uh, Sarah, and also Jana and Anja, who are also here. Um, it was amazing to see uh, your presentation as well. So we have now seen all the five presentations of the five uh, student groups. So I think it will be a really difficult decision to be made by the jury today. <laughs> and um, is there any question left over for the last group of uh, Sarah, Jana and Anja? Is anyone, uh, does anyone wants to ask something here? Then now is your chance. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, I think now it's the time for the five jury members um, and me <laughs> to find a decision um, which um, of the box will be the winning one. So I kindly ask to um, Oliver Schrovenegger, Vigita Fernando, Lydia Perico, um, Deepti Fernando and Sebastian Feucht to stay here in the Zoom channel. And please, for all the others, um, can you please uh, leave that channel and come back in uh, quarter past one? So this means about 45 minutes, 40 minutes. I think this is the time we will probably need to find a decision and to discuss a little. Uh, we won't do this uh, in the public. So we will stop the recording here, find a decision together, the five jury members and me. And um, then you, all of you can come back at 12.15. I send it also again to the chat. Uh, back at 12, uh, no, 13, 15, so exactly. So um, yeah, that's uh, what's coming next. And I'm really excited to see you back here in about 40 minutes and um, uh, looking forward to the decision. <laughs> Start. <laughs> Um, also for those uh, who watch uh, this from home later and not live, um, the jury made their decision and uh, I already know which box um, uh, is the winning one. <laughs> but um, before we uh, tell you uh, which one it is, uh, I want to briefly thank all of the students for their work in the semester and that you all did a great job. I'm really um, happy that I didn't have to make the decision because it would have been really, really hard for me. Um, I um, see in every draft um, very, very good ideas and um, I think you all did a great job here and I uh, think that also the jury members want to give you a brief feedback um, on your designs um, and I think therefore um, Oliver, um, do you want to start uh, with feedback for one of the five groups? Okay, if you want me to start. Uh, yes, I think the same. It was great to see all these things and I'm 
small person which is not knowing all the things you are studying. So I'm not an expert in design or something. So I'm impressed from everything. Uh, I like very much the uh, magnetic things. Um, I think it's another way of, of working with materials. I didn't expect such things. So this was one thing which I was very astonished about. Uh, yeah, first. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. Um, Lydia, do you want to continue here? Um, yeah, I'd like to, uh, yeah, thanks to all you students. Uh, yeah, I'm very impressed because <laughs> all the drafts and designs are very creative. And maybe I can tell something to group number five. Um, I really liked, um, the design of that group, uh, because in the yeah, audience we are thinking in, it's, um, yeah, I, that's my personal opinion, a design which fits good to a teenager. Um, so I really like uh, your ideas. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sebastian, can I give you the word maybe for two groups to give feedback? <laughs> Okay. Uh, yes, I can just repeat uh, the, the level is very high of all five boxes. Uh, you, you make a great job and uh, they are all in, uh, in, in a good way. Uh, for, the, for the first group uh, with the, the do-it-yourself box, uh, I, I, I like it uh, because if the, the students do something with they, their hands for their own, maybe they have a, a, a better relationship to their box and it's uh, good to produce it every time new. So it's a, a good idea. Uh, and Yes, and also the, the sticker graphic, um, I like it. I think it's good for, for the students. Uh, what we have, the another box. Uh, we have group three and um, two left, I guess, for feedback. Yes. Uh, let me look. Uh, yes, the, the group three. Uh, I think it's a great decision to take the 100% the color because it works good. It's clear, it's uh, easy to reproduce, to produce. Uh, I think that it's uh, very good and uh, to, to make our own type. Uh, I like it in this project. Thank you, Sebastian, for the feedback. And um, last but not least, Vijita, do you want to say something um, about group two, what you liked about the group two? You're still muted, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you have to unmute your microphone. We can't hear you yet. Uh, yeah. okay. No. Uh, okay. You, you mean only group two? No. Yeah. Can you give some feedback on the group two? This is the uh, one. Uh, Why are others? Other groups? No. The um, feedback for the other groups was already given by uh, the other so, members. Okay. I, 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 I will. The, 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 that uh, really, I have to thanks for the the youngest that they have uh, worked and hard work on this uh, uh, toolbox. Uh, they, they, when the presentation, it was uh, really, because we have, now we are facing that problem in Sri Lanka. He was uh, looking solution for the garbage and plastic. In both of country, we, when we discuss, we want to get one box, education box too immediately uh, understand the, uh, the school children. So I, I think that uh, when I listened to the presentation, uh, they two was uh, doing that nicely and uh, their books also 
made by wood and then we can uh, easily uh, get from both country and uh, so uh, so now there's several things, but I can't explain. Uh, anyhow, uh, I will thanks to them. They work hard. They work hard. Uh, they work. Uh, they do really a good uh, job for the world. Thanks. Thank you, Vijita. And uh, now um, the moment you were all waiting for, Vijita is going to tell the winner, uh, the one that the jury was uh, choosing as the winning box, the box that will be uh, produced and that will win the pricing money. Once, once again, I, I have to say though that five groups that we, who work very hardly and uh, they spend a lot of time for this. Uh, we got very, very uh, positive idea from that uh, five group, but we have to uh, select one that uh, that I I have to say uh, that winning group are uh, the name is uh, Hana Jana Anna. It's a group two. Congratulations to group number two of uh, Johanna, uh, Anne, and um, Hannah. Yeah. Your box was uh, chosen as the one that will be produced. <laughs> but um, maybe I can add here that um, it wasn't uh, an easy decision. As Vigita said, all the um, designs you made were so good. And in every design, there was an aspect that um, not only me, but the whole jury uh, laughed a lot. And um, so it wasn't easy to find a solution, but we had to choose one box. Um, but uh, yeah, I think Lydia, you wanted to add something at this point, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, Marie. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to say it later, um, but um, okay. Yeah, like Marie told uh, you, uh, every box has very special uh, features and uh, yeah, designs. And I don't know, it was a very hard decision in a short time for us uh, to make this decision. And that's why I wanted all of you, all the groups, invite and um, anyway for be for feedback. Um, because uh, we really like to know um, yeah, how what was the developing part and um, also with the content. I know it wasn't easy um, all the time and we really like, um, yeah, we would really like uh, to have your feedback. But then maybe uh, we can uh, look if, with your results and your boxes and designs, we can just uh, take uh, a little new project uh, in other content if you um, are interested in but uh, we all think or are convinced that there are so good and motivated ideas and that yeah it would be a shame not to uh, go further in this work so that's why yeah, we just want to tell you that and invite you to maybe cooperate um, yeah in the future together Thank you very much. So um, yeah, I'm uh, congratulations to the winning group and all the others to the effort you put in this um, semester. Um, maybe um, we can now give just briefly a little uh, um, outlook what's happening next. Um, I think also for this part, Lydia, you can explain it better than me. And then we can uh, use the last few times. I think we have about half an hour then left um, to chat. If you want to, you can still stay here um, in the room. And yeah. <laughs> I just uh, uh, think that uh, Isabella and Gianna from Mary Chan um, want to say something. Oh. Oh, Lydia, so you can't hear nicely. We can hear you, Vidita. Hello. Ah, hi. Hello, <laughs> after a long, long time. Sorry, I didn't write you. I tried to say all the time. I tried to send message, but I was really busy. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll call you later. But the both of you in my mind, huh? don't worry. <laughs> here, you're here too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 
we just said that, or we just thought that Lydia invited everyone to give some feedback. And we from Mary John wanted to say thank you for all your work, for all the, the groups, and of course the jury as well, but mostly the groups. I think it's amazing. The results are amazing. Yeah. And I think we can estimate how much work and effort and love you put in to all your um, suggestions and all your results. So thank you a lot. Yeah, thank you so much. And we want to invite you to the workshop. We're right now in our workshop at Alexanderplatz. If you want to um, come by and see how to melt plastic, or if you want to try out, or just to meet us, or or we can meet you guys, <laughs> we're very excited. And I will put the address in the chat. So if you want to come by, we're here every Saturday. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for your feedback. and. Um... Thank you. Is, is anyone else who want to uh, add something at this point here? Otherwise, um, I'd give the word to Lydia for the little outlook what's coming next. I think this is also interesting for all of us. Okay, then maybe shortly, um, what are the next steps? Um, we will go now into the implementation and the production of the boxes with the students and at the same time we will supplement and adapt the content components with our partners as necessary. And then our big, maybe not, not biggest, but a very, very a big wish is to be able to hand over the finished uh, education boxes in person in September on the World Cleanup Day this year. I, yeah, let's hope, uh, we don't know. Um, and it would be great to have again, um, a delegation from Sri Lanka, so Rishikya, um, hope to see you soon here um, with maybe teachers from the school we vis visited uh, last year. So these are the plans. Um, yeah, thanks again to be part of this journey. And um, it's really, uh, I don't know, from my personal point of view, it's a pleasure to, um, yeah, to getting in touch with you, to work with you, to see your motivation, your energy and your different perspectives. So I think we as a, a district um, like administration, um, uh, yeah, it was a great opportunity and still is uh, for us to learn and to work together on the sustainable development goals. So thanks a lot. Thank you, Lydia, for this um, little outlook. Um, I uh, can just um, say the same once and over and over again. So uh, thank you a lot. Um, if you want to stay here for a few minutes to uh, chat um, or um, yeah, to celebrate in an um, online way, then you're more than welcome to do so. Otherwise, as Lydia mentioned, there will be hopefully soon um, uh, the um, yeah, opportunity to meet in person um, as soon as it it as it is uh, possible due to the um, current regulations with the corona situation and uh, yes i think lydia you wanted to add something right yeah there was still uh, they wanted to say something but i don't know if you're still there yeah this, just to congratulate the winning team and for the others you know there's so much to do um, so continue uh, your projects continue to look um, projects and to look after the environment actually i'm in a in a national park that's why my signal is breaking up but even in the national park we still have down here on the ground and everywhere it's plastic everywhere so in even a protected area of sri lanka we have uh, issues with plastic pollution so you can understand the magnitude and the importance of this project for not just for sri lanka but for everyone so congratulations and looking forward to work with with you all and please keep in touch <laughs>